What is up you guys? I'm going to do a video. I'm going to talk about my top 10 freestyle bikes from the 1980s. So this will be the bikes that I like. The color, the graphics, the components. So they have to be the complete bike. But these are the colors that I think are the best. <clears throat> and the bikes. So starting at the back of the pack at number 10 is the Redline RL22 in turquoise. And this is actually a sick looking bike. Um, it's at the back of the pack, really, uh, the rideability for me, the dimensions, component-wise, were great, but still not my favorite, but definitely makes the back end of the list. Now, next up is the Kuwahara Bravo Pro. Now, I knew a friend in Germany was sponsored by Kuwahara, so I actually got to ride this bike, see it in person, and it was actually a really, really badass bike. I actually like the little bar across above the sprocket, and it has the sprocket. A little speckle paint. It was really a sick bike. Could be higher on the list, actually. Next up is the Woody Itson Signature Diamondback. Uh, Woody Itson always had sick bikes, and I really like this color scheme. I never got to ride one of these in person, but I always thought, okay, that's definitely a bike I would ride. Um, next up the list is hard to make any list without this bike on it is the Hutch Trickstar. Now, I had a friend that had this exact bike in candy uh, blue or whatever. Um, it was a great bike. Look, look cool. Um, was always on the expensive side, so I would never afford this bike, but definitely makes the list in the middle of the pack. It looks excellent. <clears throat> Next up is the uh, Mike Dominguez uh, Strike Zone. Now, in my opinion, I love the Diamondback graphics on this. I'm a big fan of the color blue, as you guys can probably tell. And I like the old school tough wheels. So being a fan of Mike D, I really would like to have, I would have probably bought in this bike if I would have had the chance. Next up is the Skyway Street Beat. Now I love lavender, especially on the freestyle bikes. And um, this bike really, I felt like dimension wise, component wise is a great bike. Definitely near the top of the list. So I definitely would have rocked this bike or have liked to have ridden it back in the day. Um, next up is, could easily, some could argue, is the best freestyle bike ever made uh, in the 80s. But this is the mint and turquoise, uh, top of the line components. Everything on this bike is legit. Colors, graphics, I mean, five out of five stars. But it's going to be hard to beat the next few bikes coming up. In my opinion, this GT Pro Performer and this Dayglow Orange is one of the baddest bikes I've ever seen. I did see a guy in Germany had one of these and it was just, I couldn't take my eyes off the bike. I was like, man, I want this bike, but I never could find a frame in that color. Uh, Josh White and GTV will be riding the bike. Next up is uh, number two on the list, which is kind of a toss up, could easily be number one, but this is the 86 Harl Sport. In my opinion, the green graphics, the everything about this bike is just amazing. It's really Ron Wilkerson, my favorite rider. I stared at this ad for hours. Um, love the looks of this bike. All right, and the winner, number one, you guys guessed it, GT Pro Freestyle Tour. Now, the hot, the Deglo Pink, some would say, is the best. Uh, personally, I like the Maui Blue the best. Component-wise, this is the greatest bike I feel like ever put together. And uh, my number one GT Pro Freestyle Tour. All right, guys. Peace out.